what's up alchemist i learned something neat about dictionaries the other day and i'm here building a state alchemist database each with a unique rank but there's probably going to be a glitch and if we see look at state alchemist four and five we notice that there's a name for four but there's no rank and five has a rank but no name and if we go to run this as is it's probably gonna kick back a key error at us and that's exactly what happens and it's telling us it can't find the rank key because it doesn't exist in state alchemist four variable we can fix this by using the get method which allows us to retrieve a value for the given key in our dictionary so we'll go ahead and do sa dot get and nice about the get method as well is we can assign a default value. Anyone who doesn't have a rank will be a candidate to becoming a state alchemist. Anyone who doesn't have a name, we can say that, well, we're not sure because we have to do some research now, but we'll go ahead and run this. And this time we get back our name and our rank and our placeholder for our fourth and fifth alchemist. The get method is pretty powerful and it ensures that even if a rank or name is missing, our code doesn't break. Remember alchemist, equivalent exchange isn't just through transmutations. In coding, it's about ensuring you get something, even if it's just a placeholder. Hope you found this helpful. Check out the full video where I deep dive into dictionaries and go into full details about them. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll check in the next one. Peace out, Alchemist.